welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Howdy neighbors, Ron Hayes with another edition of Canola TV. Thanks for joining us today as we're uh, glad to have along with us Dr. Tom Pieper, Extension Weed Specialist at Oklahoma State University. We've got a three-part series with Dr. Pieper that we want to share with you. This is part number one as we uh, talk basically with the man that a lot of folks consider to be the godfather of winter canola here in the Southern Great Plains. And we asked Dr. Pieper recently to reflect with us about how his work in trying to control weeds in winter wheat led him to canola. Well, we had brought on several new herbicides over the past few years, and every time we brought in a new herbicide for wheat, we'd do a good job of killing some of the weeds, and some of them we would miss. So we finally realized that we were just going to get into worse and worse problems if we didn't do something in terms of a rotation where we could kill these grass weeds instead of just continually trying to grow wheat year after year. And, and kill it with herbicides. It just gets to the point where you're fighting a losing battle if you try to do that. We've really been concerned. We were concerned back then, and we're still concerned that the acreage of wheat harvested in Oklahoma has gone down 50% since 1980. And you can't help but wonder, well, what's going on here? Uh, if you look at all the acreage of corn, soybeans, grain sorghum, and canola, and CRP, there's still a million and a half acres of wheat that has disappeared. A lot of that, we think, has probably gone to ryegrass that the guys can't control. So one way to recover some of our harvested crop acreage is to get a good rotation, and canola seems to be the best option we have right now. You, uh, you mentioned, obviously, that we were looking for those answers. One of the things that worked in your favor was the uh, Freedom to Farm farm law in 1996 that allowed farmers to start sure playing with the uh, rotations. Oh yes, if it wasn't for freedom to farm we probably wouldn't be farming right now. <clears throat> it's, it's amazing in, in hindsight that it took the federal government so long to realize that. But we couldn't adopt no-till, we couldn't adopt any crop rotations to speak of without freedom to farm. So I hope as it moved to the future that those parts of the farm bill stay intact. Certainly, uh, we were looking for a rotational crop. It had to be a profitable crop. I mean, you could rotate with anything, but it has to make you money. And you have to have some confidence that you can grow it and make money growing it. So about the time uh, we started looking at canola, uh, they developed Roundup Ready canola. And our wheat farmers had always been sort of left out of the Roundup Ready stuff. It made grays, uh, growing soybeans so easy and corn so easy. And, and so it was time for our wheat farmers to get a chance to take advantage of that technology too. But we've come a long way. Next time on Canola TV, we'll talk with Dr. Pieper about the lessons learned over the last several canola growing seasons. For PCOM, I'm Ron Hayes on Canola TV, a service of OklahomaFarmReport.com.